Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Let's say you're doing a lot of file downloading or you're gaming on your PC. That would be like gaming on an Xbox. You need low latency. You, you want to get rid of the Wi-Fi packet latency and you want to get rid of all the factors that can interfere or disrupt your signal. So how do you get away with that? Well, you start with getting rid of your all-in-one cable modem router Wi-Fi thing that you're paying rent on, the one single device that's probably placed in the completely wrong part of your home anyway. And the next thing is you want to purchase your own cable modem and make sure it's validated for your internet service provider. Just go to a local big box store or online and buy one of these. Once you get one of these, then hook it up, get it working. It may take a technician to come out to your home to do that. And then you're gonna purchase a separate unit called a Wi-Fi router. So instead of your one device doing everything, now this one device here is only being the cable modem. It's not transmitting a signal through the air. It's gonna connect up to your Wi-Fi router with a ethernet cable. And this gives you flexibility. So this Wi-Fi router can now be placed in a more central spot of your home. So when it comes to Wi-Fi, placement is everything. It, it might seem counterintuitive, but you can't just put a, a Wi-Fi router in the corner of the furthest part away of your house and expect it to work well all over your house. You wanna locate your Wi-Fi hotspot, so to speak, as centrally as possible. So if you have a separate Wi-Fi router, this gives you the opportunity to place it as centrally as possible, which would not necessarily be possible with just the all-in-one device. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. That's gonna help a lot. And plus, on the back of your Wi-Fi router, you typically will have a four-port Ethernet switch, these orange ports. The blue one is for connecting to your cable modem. But the four ports here give the ability to plug in things like Ethernet cable. So you plug in your Ethernet cable into one of these ports, and you can plug in your Xbox or your smart TV or your computer or something that needs a reliable high-speed connection. Not only are you going to get a, high, a reliable high-speed connection, but you're going to be transmitting less Wi-Fi signal over the air, and that's going to be reducing congestion. Not only will your devices and your uh, family members thank you, but your neighbor will thank you too. Well, maybe not, but uh, if they knew to thank you, they would. So that is probably the most reasonable solution to Wi-Fi problems and working in some wired connections into your, into your home network. 